fine. Welcome to Deja Vu Tarot. I just wanted to jump on and give you guys another reading for the collective. I will be using my Lenormand deck, the Kipper deck. I mix these two decks up and I'll be clarifying it with my everyday witch tarot. Okay. All right. So let's get started. I'm going to pull this down a little bit. All right. Once again, this is just a collective read. So if you guys want to book a personal reading, feel free to go to my website. It will be in the link below. It will be in this description box below, okay? So, let's get started. All right, let me just put the air here. Cut. Okay. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides. Call upon you now to give me messages for the collection. What are the energies for today? For the uh, we'll do it for the month of May. For the month of May. What is the energies for today? That card flew out. All right, we're gonna put it back. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Holy Spirit, give me five cards for the collective for the month of May. What is the energies for the month of May? And let me get them all out here, and then I will, I will read them. All right, one more card. Oh, two more. All right. All right, let's go. Overall energy, distance horizons. Okay, so this is basically what's in our subconscious, what we don't see. So, it looks like some, some of you guys will be traveling, okay? Or you guys may be living at a distance from your partner, okay? So, maybe subconsciously they want to travel, okay? All right, so one second here. Let me look at this. All right, so first card that came out for the month of May, we have the eyeglass or magnifying glass in reverse, number 44. We have the rats. This is 23, card 23, but it's in reverse, so that's a good thing. All right, we have the concern card, number 33, but we have it in the reverse. Okay, we have Lily's number eight, or I'm sorry, 30. That was in the reverse. Number 42, the compass. This was upright, which to me that clarifies that overall energy of going the distance. Okay. And then we have the main male. All right. So that is the overall card. So let me just look at this for a second. So right away we have the magnifying glass in reverse. And what this talks about, an upright, it talks about investigation. You know, someone's spying on you or someone's looking into uh, what you do, what your work is, you know. Uh, in some type of investigation going on, but I show it's in reverse. So some of you guys may be getting out of some type of investigation that was going on maybe previously, or the person that you're with, they are no longer maybe watching you or putting effort into investigating or, or researching you. Okay, let's clarify this in reverse though. All right, Holy Spirit. Why is the magnifying glass in reverse? Angels, ancestors, spirits, give me some guidance. Why did you show me this in reverse? For the overall collective. Why did you show me this in reverse? Clarify the hourglass and I mean the 
magnifying glass. I don't know why I'm going to keep calling the hourglass. Magnifying glass in reverse. Okay. Give me one more card. in reverse. Okay, bottom of the deck, we got the Page of Swords. Now, the Page of Swords represents someone watching, spying, but it's a page, right? So, it, it could also talk about um, immature communication, right? Or someone that's being very immature could be possibly spying, okay? Maybe because they want to take a leap of faith, all right? The Fool card talks about jumping off, as you can see, she's jumping off that cliff, trying to take a leap of faith to go towards something okay because we did have the hourglass but we have that in reverse so let's see i clarify that with the three of swords now it came out sideways so that lets me know that someone is going through a heartbreak they possibly could be you know almost getting over it but it's sideways right and then we have the judgment card now, the judgment card talks about it could be either a spiritual judgment that God is putting on to someone, or it could talk about a judgment someone is deciding to return, deciding to take a path, because we have page of wands, right? So, this tells me right here is someone is going through a heartbreak, but they're no longer... Um, now, maybe this could have turned out upright and it just flipped out in reverse, but, um, hold on one second. All right, so upright, it would make sense that someone is watching, spying, maybe having a heartbreak, deciding to come down or take some type of project. But it was in reverse, so maybe this action hasn't been done yet. This is what someone is possibly thinking about due to a possible heartbreak or maybe they went through a breakup or something like that. Okay, maybe you guys are going through a breakup right now and y'all wanting to move, you know, because the Page of Wands is like a new start, a new beginning, okay? Judgment talks about resurrecting or going back or, or, or bringing something up, right? So, it could be two things. You guys are going through a heartbreak and deciding to move away from a situation or deciding to start a new project or someone who maybe was at a distance because we do have distance horizon that was at the over our energy. So someone could be at a distance and deciding, right, maybe they went through some type of heartbreak or something with the three of swords or judgment may have got put on this three swords because of heartbreak right but it talks about someone making a decision to start down a path or because they was in this energy because they was in the knight of wands energy because the knight of wands in energy also talks about the playboy play girl okay being young and you got the wand there you know because wand talks about action or it talks about passion right so the other scenario could be because of someone, playboy, a playgirl ways, right? Breaking people's hearts, judgment has rain upon them, okay? Which is causing them wanting to go to distance. So it's two scenarios. Someone being a playboy, playgirl, and getting a karma. Or you guys are starting to do a new project or want a new passion and you're trying to figure out you know, because of previous heartbreak, possibly in the past, do you want to go down this road again? Okay, so it's the situation, take it how it resonates, all right? But then we have the mice in reverse. The mice in reverse, upright is like something is eating away at someone, right? Maybe possibly feelings, or you could be dealing with rats, right? People who lying and cheating and they trying to eat at your funds and your money. You know, you see y'all that good fruit down here. But they over here taking a bite out of it, right? But it came up in reverse. So maybe you, some of you guys are releasing people that could be using you or, you know, just want to use your funds and your energy, your money or whatever. Some of you guys could be releasing that, okay? 
because the mice talk, talks about uh, something that's eating away, eating away at you, you know. Uh, or it also can talk about people that's rats around you. You know, some of us may have low vibration of people around you that's eating off of your source, your supply, your money, your funds, your emotions. But it came out in reverse, so that is good. So let's clarify this. Holy Spirit, clarify the mice in reverse. Okay, exactly. Like what I said. Get in a new perspective. Okay? Because we do have the judgment card. So that's like deciding to go on a different path right or returning to somewhere but the rat is in reverse so i did say it was something that was eating away maybe you felt stuck in a situation but it came out reverse so that's a good sign that means that because this is the hangman okay upright is like you're stuck in a situation you don't see the clarity but as you see it's like a little broom so he can get himself out of it but he's just choosing to be stuck, right? But once it's in reverse, that means that you are no longer choosing to be stuck. You have clarity, guys. So some of you guys are getting clarity in a situation and you're feeling unstuck about it. And you're taking that action to move, which we did see the wands over here. Okay, so let's keep going. Give me one more for the, for the mice. Spirit, one more for the mice. Okay. Right, let's see. Yeah, so Six of Pentacles talks about equal give and take. Also talks about, you know, if you look at the card, maybe breadcrumbing, you know, or paying people. Okay. And I did say that the rats, they eat up everything, they eat up everything you get. So. Some of you guys were in maybe a relationship that um, wasn't serving you for your highest good. Um, you have rats, as you see this picture, it's people that got their hand out. And she's paying them and giving them money and trying to give them stuff. Once again, rats are eating the here. So some of you guys have released people that probably had you giving them, paying out a lot of money, right? Paying bills, paying a lot of things. You guys are becoming unstuck. Especially you do with COVID. With COVID, um, you know, COVID makes us feel stuck sometimes. You know, it could be job situations. Because Six of Pentacles talk about, Pentacles is something you can feel. Um, it talks about balance as well. So maybe some of you guys are getting balance. And you're becoming unstuck in situations, relationships. You guys are receiving that clarity that you need. Okay, because the hangman is upright, which is good. All right, so we have concern. Concern is in reverse. So somebody is not concerned. And I think it's because of these rats here, these people who were, you know, taking your money or you end up paying out so much of, over everything. Like, I feel like you guys are not concerned about this no longer. You have cut yourself free from this situation here. Whatever your situation is, like I say, it's a collective of energy. So you guys take it what resonates. Clarify concern in reverse for your wife. Concern in reverse. Yeah, exactly. No longer concern. You found your balance. You found your peace. You found your happiness. Okay? And you're no longer concern with people right because concern is in reverse so you're no longer concerned you're, you found your balance you found your peace and some of you guys are no longer concerned with these rats right with these people that you paying out caring for keeping you stuck breadcrumbing you and you're like enough is enough and you are you found your balance you're balancing everything you're no longer concerned with people um BS, that's what I get from this. All right, let's move forward. Clarify Lily, please. Lily in reverse. And one more spare. All right. Yeah, Lily talks about having growth, 
right? Uh, prosperity, lilies grow, they bloom, right? But it's in reverse. So I feel like these rats, these people that was possibly using you, possibly having you paying and bread from it, because we have the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords talk about being sneaky and lying and cheating and stealing money and all type of stuff. You see the black cat over here? But that came out in reverse. So whatever beginning possibly that these rats thought they would have, they no longer have, okay? Seven of Swords is in reverse. Lilies is in reverse. So that means there's, there's no wishes fulfillment with this. So whoever these rats was that did you wrong or was trying to be sneaky and steal and lie and cheat, right? There's no, no growth there. No growth because we got the Two of Pentacles, all right? Probably was juggling too. But Two of Pentacles also talk about no finances right low on finances so possibly because we got the lily in reverse there's no financial growth because they still live in line right those rats now they're fighting against each other right having a lot of conflict five of wands could be a lot of women involved too somebody was juggling okay i take this too as juggling uh a lot of women or could be fighting over money, fighting over pentacles, or they could be fighting because they ain't got no pentacles, right? Ain't no lilies growing, ain't nothing growing there. So they're all in conflict. So whoever this is, you guys, good job. You released some rats. <laughs> That's going to be good. Look, Wheel of Fortune, okay? Destiny coming in now. All right, sometimes we got to release people, you know, that page of pentacles. They just want to have their hand out, okay? Sometimes you got to release them to get your will of fortune, to get your blessing. All right. All right. Spirit, clarify compass. Spirit, clarify compass. Why is compass here? Why is showing me compass? Ooh, happiness. So it flew over here by the judgment. And when I say judgment talks about returning okay so yeah some of you guys want to go back maybe go travel a distance because you guys want to be happy okay give me one more with the compass Ooh, two more thank you sir. could be you got the king of cups and the four wines at the four wands at the bottom of the deck so yeah someone is holding back feelings or maybe they feel uh did they want to be married? Possibly to the Nine of Pentacles. We got the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Okay? At the bottom of the deck. This is what we don't see. So, I feel that... And you, you have the Sun card. Okay? So, some of you guys will be definitely getting into some type of union. Okay? So, congratulations for the month of May. Okay? Could be possibly... You guys have distant lovers... Okay, let me turn this up a little bit. Okay, might have distance, lovers at a distance, but you guys definitely will be going into union this month. Okay, because you got the King of Cups, which is it's all about emotion, right? He's all about emotion. He may not show it as much, but he definitely got it. Okay, because you see all the water back here. Then you got the blue on. Blue represents emotion. Four Wands talk about marriage. It talks about uh, foundations. Uh, being solid in the foundation then you got the sun card you got the nine of pentacles and that talks about a single woman right being single and fruitful and then you got the ten of cups so to me yeah this definitely looks like um some type of union or partnership that's coming in the way okay then you got the seven of swords and ten of swords Okay, so let's clarify that. Let's clarify that. Because the bottom of the deck, I see a union at the bottom of the deck. But then Seven of Swords and Six of Swords. Six of Swords talk about moving on mentally, right? Having mentally moving forward. Because Swords represents mental, right? That's what you're thinking. So maybe someone, okay, because we do got the compass. Someone is thinking about moving or traveling to a new location this month in May. Possibly after a painful ending. 
Okay, because the Ten of Swords talk about a painful ending in a marriage, in a relationship, job. So maybe you guys are going through a painful ending. However, it looks pretty good. Someone is going into union for the month of May. But we got the Six of Swords. So maybe you guys are getting away mentally from that pain, sorrow for a month of May. Y'all have definitely movement here. Some of you guys will be traveling. Some of you guys will be getting um, enlightened about probably some friends and family that is foes for the next month. That's rats around here, snakes causing conflict. Okay, y'all will be letting that go. Uh, some snakes, rats will be going into poverty as well. I see that too. Some of you guys will be getting balanced, finding your peace, being not concerned about anything that's going on because it looked like a lot of drama for the month of may but some some of us is going to be definitely in peace so that's a good thing all right let's talk about this main male here all right spirit clarify this main male who is this main male Remember, this is just a collective of energy. So, you guys, want, if it's not resonate, don't worry about it. I have other videos um, that you guys can look at to see if it resonates. If it doesn't, book a personal reading. That's the only way you're going to get 100% accuracy, okay? All right, let's clarify this main male. I feel like he got a lot to do with, with something here. Clarify the main male. Clarify the main male. One more. All right. And the beep is at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Okay, so this main male here, I clarified it with the Empress. Now, the Empress talk about it could be a baby mother. Okay. If we talking about on a soul level, the Empress is the highest uh, of the deck. The highest queen in all of the Queen's Tarot. Okay, this is what people want to reach is the Empress. That's all four queens of the deck. Um, it also talks about a mother or baby mother or someone that's pregnant. Okay. So it could be this main male have a baby mother pregnant. Okay, and he maybe want to cut her out of his life because we have the justice next to the page of swords. Okay, or this main male have a soul tie, an empress that he's watching and wanting justice for. Okay, so it can go two ways, right? Or this could be a main male having a baby mama he could be married or something that's going through some type of divorce because we got justice here we got the page of swords and we got the empress okay but page of swords talk about watching right so somebody either he's watching this empress okay wanting justice okay because we got the we got the the food card and the strength card so having courage should take a leap of faith so it can go either way. This main male, okay, or wants to be, someone wants to be a main male who is watching this empress and wanting some type of justice done. Or maybe they're going through some legal issues and watching the baby mama, right? Or the baby mama is watching this main male because she wants to take him to court. So take it how it resonates. Right, so either way, this main male is going through some type of legal issues with this baby mama. They could be watching and stalking them, um, but also somebody wants to take a leap of faith. And we do have travel here because we have the compass travel here that talks about moving forward, right? And then we have the the eyeglass with the judgment and the page of wands that talk about some new start. Okay. So this main male definitely want to have some courage to have a new start. And he possibly could be just watching right now because he's going through some legal issues with the baby mama. Okay. 
take it how I resonate. That's how y'all have it. Y'all story resonate, okay? Or you could be the main male watching a baby mama, uh, wanting to take her to court, or y'all both going through some divorce or something like that, some court contract. So definitely that will be coming up in May for some of you as well. But overall, I do show that someone is going to take action, two of wands here, to be happy, okay? Possibly leaving a commitment or wanting a commitment with this nine of pentacles with a single woman, okay? They're, they're wanting to take action. They want to build on a project, three of pentacles, okay? Could be wanting to apologize or offer some type of cut, okay? After holding back or analyzing themselves okay because hermit mode talks about you soul searching trying to analyze things okay wanting to put some work into uh some type of spiritual partnership okay so definitely some of you guys will be going into that for the month of may all right so good energy read let's get the overall energy spirit what is the overall energy for the month of may for the collective one card, please. Oh, overall energy for the month of May for the collective. One card, spirit. Overall energy for the month of May. All right. We got the gamble, the dice, okay? Once again, that's two confirmations. Because let me see here because we got the full card, too. Somebody want to take a gamble okay on returning to someone okay could be this empress or baby mama or trip i don't know you tell me or some of you guys will be going to vegas this month next month i'm sorry in may okay vegas could be taking a gamble to take a trip all right so overall, good read for the month of May. I hope this resonates. Once again, all my information will be down below. If you guys want a personal reading to get more in depth. But um, I hope this resonates. You guys, namaste. And you have a good And remember, what goes around comes around. Thank you.